I'm still stuck in the these things that Val was trying to tell me. Kucheza uh, chini, maros kubali, ukubali. I I don't know. I will get to understand. Actually, I'll be here to see what Val will be talking about in a bit. But for now, it's my time. I want to talk about youth in politics or youth in politics. I'll be speaking to our political leader, Cliff Mboya. His party is called Ideal Democratic and Economic Party. Good morning. My name is Dereva Hillary. Send in your comments or questions to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. Let's get to business. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, Larry. Good to have you. Thank you very much. For now, as, as you're talking about the youth, uh, you have a party that I, I hear. It is youth curtailed or tailored to mean. And also, we've had so many parties in this country. Now that Kenya is a multi-party nation, we have so many parties. And I, I would want to, to get to know how different will be your party from other parties that you've had. And then what's the future? But to begin with, tell us how did the idea come and how did you begin it? Uh, the, idea, the idea of the Ideal Democratic Party started uh, not many, uh, not just recently. It's, a, it's something that we've been working on from 2009, mm -hmm. but uh, also understanding how Okay. What is the solutions that we need? It's not just about just coming, waking up, and uh, forming a party. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a so solution-based uh, political organization, right. and um, it's a movement that uh, has shown a need that there's a space, there's a gap mm -hmm. that need to be filled, mm -hmm. and it can only be filled by people like us who have understood what is missing, mm -hmm. and then coming up with a solution. Mm -hmm. So it's been a journey. It's been a journey. It's been a journey, mm -hmm. uh, especially at a time and a period where we are saying um, we were clamoring for the youth inclusivity, mm -hmm. the women inclusivity in, in issues and matters politics. Mm -hmm. And we looked around and we shopped around and see where we can fit ourselves within the parties. But uh, again, you find that uh, these parties are uh, kind of, uh, uh, we call them ownerships. Mm -hmm. And uh, we said now maybe perhaps if we take another direction where there is a parties are institutionalized, mm -hmm. then perhaps even uh, the, 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 more, the marginalized community in the, in, within the, the, the region can be able to have their voice. And that is now where we say we're bringing the freshness in the, in the, in the political sphere. Um, it's normally said, every generation has a responsibility. True. And you can see that there's a generation that uh, fought for the independence. Mm -hmm. They were not old people. Dedan Kimathi died at 29. Mm -hmm. Tom Boyer died at uh, 39. Mm -hmm. uh, Kibaki, when he was assuming his, his, uh, his, uh, as a finance minister, assistant min finance minister, he was 29, 30. Okay. So it's not issue of youth. It's the issue of generational responsibility. All right. Yeah. Even as you talk about the youth, tell me about the name. Yes. Uh, why the ideal and economic? And also, you have mentioned something about youth and women yes. and uh, earlier on we were like does it mean we are so vulnerable because anytime the youth is mentioned the woman is included uh, why no, do we have this it's, it's not it's it's i said it's a time that we we were we were finding space for these two categories mm -hmm. yeah um, and, uh, women apparently they've gone ahead and done it mm -hmm. and uh, the youth were left behind because they are still not organized and uh, they actually, the most cases, it was not, they're not organized. Mm -hmm. So we have done it through other organization. But now we said, we, since you've done the social and economic aspect of it, mm -hmm. we have already got the voice within the social and economic. Okay. Can we have a voice in the political sphere? Mm -hmm. That's now where we come in as a, as a political. The best way to do it is through a legal entity. You can't just do it through any other movement. Right. If you get, try to do that through other movement, either you are, you are, you are, you are looked at as a... As a as a rebel or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we said, let's follow the legal channel. Right. Let's use the system how it works mm -hmm. and uh, see how we can, do the, uh, we can bring the solutions in, in, in the system from, the, from that sphere. Mm -hmm. so the, the name of the party is Ideal Democratic and Economic Party. Right. Ideal, mm -hmm. meaning this is the party that's bringing ideals. Okay. The philosophy that we don't have. Mm -hmm. For a long time between 1991, 1992, the country has not been having a, a, an ideal 
That's why you see when there's an issue of now, the people trying to find identity, people trying to find what is the common culture of, of the country. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, countries like, uh, like Tanzania, they have their, their common culture that unites them. The Tanzania has 152 tribes. But you know them of Swahili. Yes, but we know they have a common culture. They have a common goal as a country. Mm -hmm. What do we have as a country, as a Kenya? Mm -hmm. Apart from what was the race, or what we say maybe, uh, until Nyaoism, there was Nyao philosophy. Mm -hmm. But after Nyao, everything went black. Mm -hmm. So we were left with nothing. So what are these some of the uh, ideals that you have in your party? Uh, f for now, we are, we are looking at uh, the issue which is uh, mo major. We will focus on issues uh, like uh, how do we for, for change, change um, our culture. We're used to the Borawai culture. We're used to man it, man society. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we take responsibility as citizen, become active citizen, and put values in, 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 terms, of, uh, in terms of leading the nation, in terms of doing our day-to-day -day activities? Mm -hmm. So we're looking at a, a, a party that is not just bringing uh, politics usual, mm -hmm. but a politics, a politics unusual, where you have value system, mm -hmm. we have core values, we have code of ethics that, that advise us and guide us in every day of our lifestyle. All right. Yeah. I've seen political parties coming up and uh, they later would merge with other uh, bigger parties. But also, uh, when you talk about uh, politics, you'll have a politician who will come. Yes. And we've had these politicians uh, uh, since time in memorial. They're moving from one party to another. Yes. And definitely these persons are not clean. Quote, unquote, they are not clean. Relative. Now, are, are you having a party where by doesn't matter who comes in as long as he is loved by his people, he can go in? No. Because you need numbers in the, in the parliament. We need numbers, but it's not about numbers. It's about quality. Mm -hmm. we, we, are, we, are, we are about, we are, we are there to create a culture. Mm -hmm. And if it, taking, it will take 50 years to do so. We are not in a rush to do so. Okay. So whoever comes in must follow the code and ethics and cultures that we have tried to form within our organization. You cannot just come from nowhere and then you say, oh, I want to, be, to run with this party. Who are you? What have you done within the party? We have created structures that, that from the grassroots, we can be able to evaluate your progress. Mm -hmm. What have you done as, a, as Hillary mm -hmm. in your, within your community? Mm -hmm. Are you the person who was saying, uh, why am I why I'm a politics? For you, you're looking for money? No. You must, have, you must have created a culture that you know you are a leader, mm -hmm. that you want to now to run even for an MC seat in that, in that, seat, in, in that political party. You can, it's, and it's a political party that we are not waiting for, for five years, mm -hmm. then we start doing a, a campaigns. Mm -hmm. As we are doing office, a day to day work as, as any other corporate uh, institution, any other institution that is working, we open our days Monday to Monday to Friday. So from what I can gather from your, your statements is like uh, you need no old school in your party. You're looking for uh, a new influx of blood like the young people now who are coming up, who are leaders. But also, what measures do you have to tell that uh, this person? And by the way, what are some of the, I feel because I know you'll have a number, uh, what are some of the disciplinary measures you have in your party that will ensure if so-and-so -and -so has been mentioned somewhere, we go the UK way. Okay. You mentioned uh, you resign. First, uh, first and foremost is uh, the issue of disciplinary. We, 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 we really take into consideration the chapter six. Mm -hmm. That is the issue of leadership integrity. And, and integrity. Mm -hmm. So if you're a leader and you are implicated in a matter, mm -hmm. for, for us as a party, we'll ask you to step aside mm -hmm. as investigation goes on. Mm -hmm. So these are measures and uh, structures that are put, put policies that will guide you mm -hmm. as a leader if you find yourself in any issue or scandal, please step aside, allow, and the party, it's, that's the party position. Mm -hmm. And uh, then after you're cleared, we'll try and see how you're get, going, going to get back. Or in terms of um, what you're saying, for freshness or mm -hmm. yeah, of youth, we cannot say it's a really youth, uh, uh, only youth. It's like-minded. We call it like-minded. Okay. If you are older generation and you're like-minded and you feel what you're doing is right, mm -hmm. and you feel maybe you're tired of the old ways mm -hmm. of a man-eat, man society, you're welcome. So it's not about, uh, it's not about only the youth. Mm -hmm. some, some of the youth, you can say, they, they're even, they won't go with that because they feel mm -hmm. 
uh, if I'm going to a public service and I'm coming through the party, mm -hmm. I need to, go, to come a, to earn a living. Mm -hmm. For us, it's not about earning a living. It's about service. Wow. Yeah. Now, um, with this now political party, because I feel like you now have a plan, what are some of the ills in the society do you uh, seek to address? Corruption is one of them. I will you do it because will, everyone comes in and say we will manage we, we, this. We will say corruption to number one, mm -hmm. number two corruption, number three corruption. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what are your uh, mitigations? Uh, at the moment we are looking at uh, changing our attitudes. Mm -hmm. First is how do we change our attitudes from uh, individually and then collectively as a party. Mm -hmm. So we have put culture uh, that uh, we have even ten, ten, ten rules mm -hmm. uh, that a party member you should be able to adhere for in, in, in your day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. If it does not resonate with you, then it's not a place for you. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that you must first live with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You put the values in you first mm -hmm. before you even ask someone else to put them. Right. So we are, we are we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are trying to, to train ourselves mm -hmm. to live that kind of lifestyle that we, we, are, we are preaching mm -hmm. uh, within the party. So that will start reducing the issue of corruption. So when I know that I'm going to, into public service, mm -hmm. I know there's something expected of me as a leader, mm -hmm. not as a politician. Okay. Yes. All right. I want to uh, have an issue with the impunity in terms of where someone from your political party yes. has been uh, denied a chance by his people. Yes. But, and because this is something that has happened with other political parties in this country, oh. you award them because they were good to you. Mm, you award them sure. spaces in the government. Assuming now your party has gone all the way, we now have a presidential candidate and he wins. Yes. Then uh, the persons who are in your party and they lose, you award them. And these people are not there, there for service. Uh, is this something that you'll be looking in, into your party? Remember I told you that uh, our party is, uh, is not owned by me or a person. Mm -hmm. The party is owned by the members. There's AGM, there's council, there's assemblies within the structure of the party. The decision is made by the council. Mm -hmm. And the, at the world level, there's a council that decides who is going to be nominated, who is not going to be nominated. And then there's a criteria that, you have been, that will identify since we're a new party, mm -hmm. we cannot say we are locking out someone from, from running, but have you been a member of the party? Mm -hmm. That is number one. Mm -hmm. You seek to run. What have you been doing within the party? There are duties that we give you as a member of the party to do them. Have you been responsible doing these uh, issues? Mm -hmm. So you can't just come out of nowhere and say, I'm, I'm most famous and I need, to, I need the party a nomination. Mm -hmm. we have, it, it's an organized, it's an organized uh, party where there is a council that looks at and evaluates your, your ways of life, your service, your responsibility to your community. If you cannot do it at the world level, how will you ask for the constituency level? Mm -hmm. What have you done? So you have, to, you have to climb within the ranks. And within 50 years, we might say that uh, in, in our party, we'll be able to know that young person who has been with us within for 10 years, how his growth has been. Mm -hmm how he has come from being a ward coordinator to a national party, mm -hmm. maybe a council member. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how you, you have planned yourself. You'll be able to see your, a very clear channel. And in fact, you can even plan yourself in life and say, I want to start today as a, as a coordinator, ward coordinator. Mm -hmm. But in 10 years, I want to see myself at the neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I, hear, I still hear you still have a clear plan of where you want to be. But now, uh, let's now get to the party. Yes. Since inception, yes. how has the journey been? And uh, how many people do you have on board? And probably how are you popularizing the party? Uh, since inception, the challenges are uh, there. There are normal ch challenges in, any st in, st in starting any organization. When you start a new organization, you have uh, challenges of uh, first creating the brand, mm -hmm. creating trust, creating, uh, cre building the funds. So we, are, we have not yet come out of the challenges. We are working step at a time. Every day we look at it. We, and uh, so long as our goal, we know what is our aim. We change our strategies depending to the challenges that come. Mm -hmm. So we can't say this is the challenges or these are the, no, it, there's no, 
casting stone on it. Mm -hmm. We are just open and saying we will, we're expecting challenges and we are very open to them mm -hmm. and we are going to face them when they come. All right. At that time, we, we, each, each challenges, we tackle them as they come. But we have our strategy that, and a plan in place that we are going to toward this direction. Okay. Um, in terms of um, popularizing, uh, in, in terms of popularizing the party, it's not about popularizing the party. Okay. As we are looking for the quality, mm -hmm. the like-minded people. So and then how will they know there's a party that exists that fits them? Mm, we have we have we have uh, we have sent uh, we have our recruitment agents on the ground mm, okay. from different. Uh, from different, uh, in different wards, mm -hmm. and they are talking one on one right now. They are talking one on one with with people because we want to first attract the quality mm -hmm. before we bring in the mass. Mm -hmm. The quality means pe people that are going to add value to the party. Mm -hmm. People are going to be partic to participate in, in in building the party. Mm -hmm. So our 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 criteria is very simple. We are going. We have one thousand four hundred and fifty wards in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, in those wards, we want to have, uh, we, we, we have a campaign called, we, are, we will be launching a campaign called uh, uh, Idep Mtani. Mm -hmm. Idep Mtani is where by you are allowed to start your own chapter within your, within your, mm -hmm. within your area. Mm -hmm. And when you start your chapter, then we give you a criteria of how to go about it. And then we commission that chapter and you st start doing your activity. Mm -hmm. Activity being that you have to you have to have, have one social social activity that you are doing in that area, mm -hmm. and one economic activity that you are doing, mm -hmm. that will benefit you as members mm -hmm. and will also benefit uh, uh, the, the the members of the community around that region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now uh, it gets to a point in this country where parties political parties will merge yes. either to form a coalition to host someone or just to have good numbers yes. we, we we just headed to 2022 it's not just far uh, how many how many candidates will you be fronting and by the way are you looking kwanzia chini to kenda juama you just have the whole thing so uh, the, like i said this uh, is it, this is a it's a continuous process we will not cast any and say that uh, we are going to the top or we are going to the starting from the uh, mm -hmm. from the ground. But what we are sure for, we are going to start from the ground, going up. Mm -hmm. Depending with the AGMs that we are going to have, maybe now we have two AGMs coming, mm -hmm. uh, 2021 and 2022. Mm -hmm. Between that time, we'll be able to know are we strong enough mm -hmm. to champion for the presidential candidate? Are we strong enough mm -hmm. to champion for the governorship? But areas where we find that we're strong in, uh, for the governorship, we'll go for it because we, are, we love members. Mm -hmm. In our books, we love members and we can be able to say, in this region, there are 46,000 voters registered mm -hmm. and we, are, we, we, we contain 51% of them. Why don't we go for the, for the bigger seat? Mm -hmm. So through our membership card, we'll be able to see and evaluate mm -hmm. Are we in a position to go for the big seat or not? Are we in a position to go to, to, to even uh, maybe form a coalition? Mm -hmm. That is allowed, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's a good plan and a good idea. Yeah. But now I want us to digress a little bit yeah. uh, since we're talking about uh, politics and uh, youth as well. For a, a very long time, we have seen our youth being abused in terms of uh, we will campaign for people. We will use all manner of activities to ensure that they are in office. Yeah. But uh, as soon as they are in office, then they forget about us. Uh, what would be your message to the youth who, ha who has been abused? And is it about time now they, they change their, their mind and focus on these particular persons because they, they have been there anyway? Uh, though the new ones come, and I'm sure even your party will have a few, <laughs> 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 that they will change because everyone comes with promises. What would you t would be telling the youth? Because we uh, just one year short of the general elections. Okay, it's it's a culture that uh, I think we need to look at and uh, see why are we even why are you promoting someone who is not going to mm -hmm. to do anything back to you. You see, 
Number one, we believe our solutions, all, all our problems can only be solved by leaders. Mm -hmm. Leaders cannot solve your problem. You must first become a citizen, mm -hmm. active citizen, member of a political party. Then start solving your problems. Mm -hmm. But when you solve your problems, you don't need a leader to solve. You only need them to push agendas that uh, maybe one or two agendas. But when you're in an organized system, that's a problem with our youth for, for a long time. We're not in any organized systems. Mm -hmm. We try through CBOs, but we are fighting each other. Mm -hmm. When a politician A comes and gives you money in your CBO, you feel more, pro pro you feel more prominent and more active than the other, pro the other groups. Mm -hmm. You need to find a way to organize and mobilize yourself and youth and say, we have one problem. How can we put our problems in one place? Mm -hmm. And then, number one, we might not have the finance, uh, finances, but we have the numbers mm -hmm. as youth. Mm -hmm. 100 shillings from you, 100 shillings from the other person is enough to put in, in one basket and build something for ourselves mm -hmm. without even asking the leader to do it. Mm -hmm. And these are practical examples that we have done. Mm -hmm. And then it's not about promises. As we are not talking about promises. We have come up with a party with activities that we're going to do, mm -hmm. both socially, economic, mm -hmm. and politically, mm -hmm. that we we'll keep on doing them each year. I'm not going to tell you about talking about roads and we are going to build your roads. That's not our agenda. Mm -hmm. Our agenda is how do we fix the community? Mm -hmm. How do we change your perception? How mm -hmm. do we help you organize? How do we direct you? How do we lead you to, to the right direction? That is our agenda. So uh, rather you'll be teaching me how to fish rather than giving me the yes, fish yes. itself. That's exactly what you're going to do. All right. It's the responsibility of every citizen uh, to have the accountability and making their leaders are accountable for whatever service they deliver to them. Do you feel like uh, with the current political heat in our nation, and even what has been uh, happening in the past, do you feel like uh, uh, sit, uh, the citizen or the electorate for that matter ha has been uh, serious in their job to ensure that they make their leaders accountable? How will they, be, how will they seek uh, accountability from their leaders when they don't know how to? So we need, we need public education or something? Yes. Okay, is your party coming to fix that? Those are the things we have in, in part, part of the programs that we're going to do mm -hmm. in issues of accountability, mm -hmm. in issue of uh, partnering uh, with the right partners and uh, giving civic education to the people. Mm -hmm. Those are th uh, part of the things we're going to do. Maybe I would be getting to know what uh, some of the programs that you people feel like you will enroll and uh, do you have a particular area where the people know nothing about leadership, integrity? In, in, in uh, we, we call it, there's a, um, for the first time, I think, uh, if you have ever been, maybe you can interrogate other parties mm -hmm. and ask them what benefits do they give to their members. Have you ever heard of that? Members, members of the party? Yes, when you are a member you're signing, you ask your, your party, mm -hmm. what are the benefits of being a member of that party? Mm -hmm. For the first time we're bringing that in, whereby when you sign in their benefits, their 10 benefits or 14 benefits, where you can be able to look at and say, if I need these services, I can get them from the offices of IDEP. Mm -hmm. And this uh, from regional, local to the world level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the things we want to look at, and uh, if you don't have the information, you can get the information from IDEP. Mm -hmm. So we are, we, are, we are looking at a one-stop shop where okay. you can get all this information, where mm -hmm. you can get educated, you can get trained, you can get the services that maybe you may not get from, some, from someone else, mm -hmm. but you can get them at IDEP. Okay. Yes. Wow, uh, that's, a, uh, <laughs> uh, that's something else. So. But now, anyway, uh, as we wind up now. Yes. Apart from, because you just mentioned corruption, 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 yeah. other than corruption, what is other one thing that your party will, is coming to bring a change and why, why should someone opt for your party and not any other party because there are so many? Uh, if you look at our website, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to, to say the, the website, mm -hmm. but it's idep.co.ke, 
we'll be able to see that uh, we have solutions to what we want. At the moment, we are not, we are not going to talk about fixing the roads and, uh, and uh, promising you that we are going to bring water in, the, in your regions. No. There are things that we are going to help you understand yourself first. Once you understand yourself, can we do it as a community? Mm -hmm. And then change whatever the problems we have as a community, community level, mm -hmm. then cascading it up. All right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's not an issue of, uh, you can say, we have a campaign called Fixing the Nation. The Fixing the Nation campaign is right coming down to the family level. Mm -hmm. How do we fix our understanding of the family unit? to the society unit, to the community, to the nation. Mm -hmm. What is our responsibilities as citizens? You understand? Mm -hmm. Then after coming back as citizens, now what do we want? What, how, how, what kind of a nation do we want? Mm -hmm. That is a, a common goal as a collective, as a people. Mm -hmm. Then now we start working towards that mm -hmm. with the responsibility to each of us, knowing that I'm good in this. Where can my skill be put? Mm -hmm. And then we fix this issue. All right. Yeah. So everyone will be working. Everyone will be put, will be put into, into, into task. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is your, we have an action plan. What is your task? What is your responsibility as a, as a party member? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why we'll have a rotational council within the, the local, mm -hmm. uh, the, the local world. We have a rotational council where there's a chairman, there's a secretary general, and they are keep on looking at issues that are affecting them in that small community. It might be a village. Mm -hmm. In your village, you have, a, you have a small number, maybe 200 people, 50 people, looking at issues affecting you, then coordinating with the, the right authorities mm -hmm. and uh, helping you to fix it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, kn I know of so many young people aspiring to be leaders, yes. and uh, the they want to do something bigger than themselves. I'm hoping if they approach you, they will have a space in your party. However, I'm giving you a chance to speak to Kenyans out there. That's yes. your camera. Tell us whether your company or your party that is, is registered and uh, what's the future if someone comes in. Promise them one thing that you know you will keep. <laughs> <laughs> First, I, let me deal with the issue of uh, promise. I can't give you promises. Mm -hmm. The promise is you to start leading yourself. When you start leadership, you, you start within you, mm -hmm. then that is the first step. Okay. For us, we are saying we, are, we want to change our attitude. Once we change our attitude, what next? Attitude towards what? Towards our country. Okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. Change our attitude towards our country. Do you even love your country? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, many people want to be politicians. Not many people want to be leaders. Our party is giving you a leadership opportunity. Our doors are open every time that we are going to make sure that we have offices in each and every mm -hmm. ward. That is our plan. Through our Mtani, uh, IDEP Mtani uh, um, campaigns, we are making sure that we are going to have each and every office in, in each and every of the 1,450 wards. Mm -hmm. And we want you to go there and feel at home. Yeah? Feel like a member. Go ask, what can I do? Don't ask, what can we do for, what can we do for you? Ask, what can, you, can we do? Can you do? Okay. If you have something, if you have a skill, you know many youth are saying they don't, they're jobless. They're jobless, but there is opportunity. Because the question we normally, we don't ask is, what can I do? We True. normally ask, what can someone do for me? Mm -hmm. So this time we are giving you an opportunity to ask, what can you do? Because this is a, a vehicle, it's, uh, it has so many parts that uh, need to be dealt with, and you have opportunity to put your skill in it. Mm -hmm. So everyone is welcome in the party. All right, uh, uh, just a quick one. Yeah. What do I require to uh, enroll? Or what you just need to be a Kenyan citizen, eight, above 18 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your ID card, you're welcome to be a member. Though we are going to go even further and, and cascade it down to create clubs for mm -hmm. the young people where we are going to create mentorship program mm -hmm. to mentor younger people in the high school mm -hmm. who perhaps may want to be in the leadership space and politics space in the future. Mm -hmm. So we are not just going to wait until you are 18, we are going to prepare you when, before you are 18, you already know, know your roadmap to, to, mm -hmm. your, life, to, to your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, thank you so much, and uh, I'm, I'm wishing you the very best in, in this, and I'm sure uh, 
if this is what you have, um, I, I kind of feel like you will, you will have to achieve whatever plans you have ahead. He has been my guest, Cliff Mboya. He's a political uh, party leader, uh, ideal democratic and economic uh, party. Thank you so much. A value will be coming up uh, to tell you what uh, we talked about earlier, something to do with ego. Kuna inyiko juu ya ingine na kuna zina zina sumbwana. I don't know. I also want, want to hear what, <laughs> what that one means. Otherwise, thank you so much for keeping us company. My name is Edereva Hilary. Good morning. Thank you.